Steve, what are you doing home so early? I got fired today. Oh my god, that's awful. What happened? Carson, you're fired. Uh, yeah, you might want to go to the hospital. I'd rather not talk about it. What are we going to do? If you don't have a job, how are we going to stay afloat? Don't worry, Katie. There's always money to be found for a man who's willing to work for it. Jeez, nobody told me the line was going to be this long. I would have just stayed at home. Okay, Mr. Carson, here's your bi-weekly unemployment check. This check is for almost $1,000. That's close to what I make when I actually work. And I use the term work loosely. Yep, the government takes good care of its citizens. I have come to collect my pension. Sorry, no can do, buddy. But, but, I, I've served the United States military for 10 years. I, I've seen combat overseas. I, I missed 10 years of my son's life for this country. You want to complain? Take your complaints over there. Steve, you brought groceries. That's a first. Just showing my lady that I can provide for her in this little cutie. That's sweet of you, honey. But you should be out looking for work. I can handle the shopping. Sorry, Katie, but that part of my life is over. I'm never going to work again. What made you come to this stupid conclusion? This big fat government check. Steve, this is an unemployment check. We can't live off these. We have a mortgage, bills, and bill to pay. That sounds like a challenge, Katie. Challenge accepted. No, Steve. It's a fact. Besides, unemployment checks are for the people who are actively seeking work, not for lazy slobs trying to cheat the system. Hmm. Doesn't say that on the check. Trust me, Katie. I know what I'm doing. Steve, I found an ad in the paper for a job at the butcher shop. Katie, do you remember what happened to me last time I worked there? Yeah, I had a guy who worked here. He skipped out on the job last weekend. Oh, there he is. By the way, you're fired. Oh, never again. Steve, these mortgage payments are starting to pile up. Notice, notice, where's our money? We break thumbs. Don't worry about it, babe. I've always got a backup plan. There, problem solved. No, problem not solved. Where are we gonna live? <sighs> Don't you just love the great outdoors? Are you guys scared of a little thunder? Okay, this could be bad. All right, everybody, put your money in. Uh, Steve, that's an unemployment check. You can't bet that here. Why not? Scared you'll lose? Steve, these checks are for hard-working Americans out of work. You know what? People like you make me sick. Get out of here, Steve. But Al... I said get out. I swear, dishonest people like that just make me so mad. You said it, Al. <laughs> Read them and weep. Straight flush. Jeez, Al. I don't know how you manage to always win. I guess I'm just lucky. Hello, my darling wife. Come to bask in the glory that is unemployment? Hmm, no. I'm taking Nicole and we're staying at my mother's until you gave up this crazy idea of never working again. Your mother? Aw, oh, but she hates me. This will just fuel her fire. Well, until you are able to take care of us, I'm afraid I have no choice. Goodbye, Stephen B. Carson. Well, at least I have the dog to keep me company. Mr. Snibley, I've come to demand my job back. Please. Mm. All right, Carson, you can have your job back on one condition. Ah, it feels so good to be back on a couch. Yeah. Well, I'm off to work, honey. Okay, have a great day. Yeah, Larry, good toss. We should have added a dartboard in the break room years ago.